Welcome to our Rocky Railway VBS. We are excited to have you kids. We're about to have praise and worship. Before we have praise and worship, I would love if you can share this video with as many people as possible. Kids, I'll see you soon. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all. It's the power to move, any star is the power to heal. 
your broken heart is for power. Yeah, God's power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. God is here and He is real. Take four steps to the left, to the left. One, two, three, four. Turn it around and move to the right. One, two, three. Now take tiny little jumps, four to the front. some praise and worship music. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Parents, I wanted to let you know that we at Destiny of Faith Kids Ministry are praying for you and your children on a consistent basis. And we are believing God that all things will work together for our good. So I would like to share with you our VBS schedule for the next three days. We have our 8 a.m interactive video lesson. We also have our 10 a.m. student workshop for kids. We have our 1 p.m. parent workshop and we have our 4 p.m. VBS virtual interactive video. So parents, please make sure that you check us out all three days. The next thing I wanted to share was that parents, our Destiny Kids Chosen Church Ministry have been working so hard to put this together because we love you, we care about you, and we want to reach as many people as possible with the Word of God. So kids, I want you to share the video with your family members and those that you love to get the Word out as much as possible. And we are about to start our Bible lesson. Yes, our Bible lesson, kids. Before we start our Bible lesson, 
I have three things I need you to do for me. The first thing I want you to do is to grab your Bible. Go and get your Bible for me. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to look the scripture up and I want you to memorize it. God wants us to hide his word in our hearts. So go and make sure you do that for me. And the third thing I want you to do is have your parents record you on, on their phone and then I want them to post it to our Destiny Kids Facebook page. Once they post it, you will be entered into a drawing. So, guys, are y'all ready for our Bible lesson? Before our Bible lesson starts, we have a few friends that are going to give you our Bible point and our Bible scripture. See you soon. Day one Bible point. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 13. Hey kids, welcome to day one of our virtual VBS Bible Adventures. In this lesson, you will learn how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. We all have jobs that are hard for us to do, but when you run into those things, just remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Today, Pastor Keisha is going to be here with us to tell us about her friend, Ananias. Hey, Pastor Keisha. Hey, Jordan. I'm glad. I'm happy to be here today. We're glad to have you. So tell me about your friend, Ananias. Well, Ananias had a hard job to do. He actually had to help someone, but because of what he knew about that person, he didn't want to help him. So what happened? So he had to actually go and help this guy named Saul, but he was afraid of Saul. So why was he afraid of Saul? He was afraid of Saul because Saul didn't like people who believe in Jesus or loved him. He would throw rocks at them, put them in chains, even put them in prison because he didn't believe in Jesus. And Ananias thought he would do the same to him. So how did Ananias know that he was supposed to heal Paul? Well, God came to him and told him to actually go to a street called Straight, ask for a man that was from Tars, and his name would be Saul. That's great. So, and then he also had to take his hands and put it on his eyes so that he could see again. So, did he heal him? He did. In that moment, he really needed Jesus' power because that was something he couldn't do on his own. And fear was trying to stop him from doing it. Jordan, what does the Word of God tell us about that? Actually, in Philippians 4.13, it tells us that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So, bow your heads with me and I'll pray for you. Thank you, God, that you give us strength to do everything that we may need or may have in need of. Thank you that you give us strength whenever we may need it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our day one of our virtual VBS Bible Adventures. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. My name is Dominic, and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle in my way and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day 
because I was afraid it wasn't going to pass, and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this, and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't going to be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just going to pray to him today. I am going to pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Hey kids, I will be doing this with you. Today we will learn how Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Our friend taught Ananias shows us that even when we are afraid or not sure, Jesus will give us strength and he will help us to do what God has told us to do. The word says in, Philipp in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Everyone put your hands together and let's pray. Father, we thank you for showing us that Jesus' power can help us to do hard things. Your word says that we could do anything through Christ who strengthens us. And we believe that. Help us to trust in Jesus to be our strength. Amen. Have a great day, guys. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Together
Thank you, Destiny Faith family, for attending day one of our virtual VBS. The scripture we learned today is, for I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. The point of the scripture was to illustrate how Jesus' power helps to do things that are difficult. Now, please join me for prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us another day to give you more glory, honor, and praise with our lives, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to learn more about you, Heavenly Father, and we just ask that you continue to lead us and to guide us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.